Hello everyone, this is Aziz and today I will be teaching you another Photoshop manipulation, how to create one. And this is the final result of the manipulation that I will be creating today. And uh, I will be creating everything from scratch. But I will not, you know, do the very, very basic things. It will make the very, very long. So I will just teach you how to make one. And I will teach you in steps. In order to follow this, you, you, you should know the basics, how to cut a picture, how to extract a subject from a picture. Alright, so this will be the final result. I will be creating final result, okay? And let's start. I am deleting the final result. And here we have, and I have captured three pictures which are all mine. This is the initial picture. This is the person and this is the flower. So I'll just simply I'll just simply drag simply place myself here on the ground and I'll just it was like this. And then I'll mask around here so that it feels like I am, you know, standing on the grass. All right, so this is, I have merged myself or I have blended myself in, in the grass and now I'll place the flower here. And this is called miniature photography, you can say. And I want the, the background to be more blur so that, you know, my subject is more distinctive and more prominent. So what I'll do, I'll make the background more blur by selecting here this portion and I'll just make the duplicate by pressing control plus J or yes control plus J and then I'll just blur it by you know, volume blur like this all right my picture is a little dark or you know it's underexposed what I'll do, I'll increase the, con uh, the exposure. Instead of exp uh, increasing the exposure, what I'll do, I'll just you know add some drama into the picture. I'll merge all the layers into the new layer, and then I will go to filter, camera raw filter, and then I'll go to the radial filter. All right, just the radial filter. I'll you know make a kind of circle around myself and decrease the exposure around it to add some kind of vignette and I'll just like this and I'll add some kind of contrast into this picture and I'll do some dodging and burning to add some more contrast into the picture. All right, so now we are done with creating our manipulation and I'll just increase the sharpness a little bit. All right, so now we are done creating our manipulation. This was very, very simple, but the basic thing to learn in manipulation is how to cut subjects from background. This is very important. You have to cut it very, very carefully. If you make a single mistake, it feels like that's a fake manipulation or you have made a mistake. It's very obvious. So while cutting, you have to be very, very careful. And thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much and bye-bye.